Hey, what's up everybody? Today, 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 we are getting to look a little bit about masts. And masts is something that I have really not wrapped my brain around. Not as much as wrapping your mouse on the like button and the question marks and all of that, which always helps. But does mast help? What does a mast do? to write because we've always focused on stabilizers, front foils, fuselage length and all of that but like has anybody really talked a lot about masts? Actually no, I, I haven't really found a lot of videos about masts and, and let alone did I ever really think about masts because I figured hey that's just the thing that my foil is attached to. So lucky me I get to review an Armstrong performance mast the new one, the performance mast against the one that I've been riding for who knows how long. I've been riding this mast, the 85 centimeter mast, that's my wing foil to go to mast. I like the length, I like everything about it. Uh, I never really thought anything of it and then they say like, hey, you know, let's test out the new mast and it's 86 and a half centimeters. And that's, you know, I mean, like that's a finger width longer, as you can see here in the video, it, it is it's neglectable in length. But what really jumped out at me, and I'm sure you guys can see that too, is A, that mast is wider. And if you look here, and here, and here, and generally that mast is just a wider mast and I'm thinking like well you know that's probably gonna make things a, a whole lot slower my thoughts you know like like that could be and another thing is like the mounting system so that's kind of like something new so you guys see the mounting system here with the with the screw brackets here in compare to here where you do the clips the little clips go on there and with the new mast it doesn't do that so and other than that those those masts seem, seem to be pretty the same except what I also notice and I'm gonna hold this into the camera you see how the carbon is woven how those little zigzag lines those zigzag lines are a whole lot bigger on the new mast than there are on the small mast so those are some visual 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 differences and one thing and that's always I'm interested to look at is the profile of this thing and I happen to notice just with my eyes that the performance mast has a thinner profile. It's not as thick here as this one. And even you go over it with your hands, you can really feel that, how that profile here is thicker than here. And that makes now sense why this mast might be a little bit wider here because the profile is thinner and you guys all know what happens when we have thinner profiles and we tried that in the video with the MA1225 where we clearly saw this thing had a thin, thinner profile and therefore was faster. One thing definitely interesting to notice is of course also where the mast is doing its most work is where the fuselage is attached. I mean that's kind of obvious and I'm actually looking and I don't know if you guys can see that here you can definitely see how the mast, the new mast, is visibly thinner. This whole head here, where the fuselage goes inside, you can definitely see here how this is F definitely thinner. And I think that is going to be crucial, that's just my speculation, for minimizing the drag. Even though the mast in itself is wider on the bottom, but the thickness, I think, and you just when you touch it, you can already you feel it right away. You feel it right away how this is thinner on the new one and thicker on the old one. So I really believe that this is going to make a difference the one way or the other. Again, I'm not a specialist. I'm your weekend warrior. So we're going to go to the beach and find out what's going on. All right, so we looked at the two masts and now we're actually out to test to test this and my test set up I show it to you guys real quick and by the way it is absolutely nuking here today um, almost a little bit too much there are guys out there in wings that are probably just a hand towel but we're here we're now and we're trying this out 
I'm using my usual setup. I am kind of to go to wing is the MA1125. I really like this wing. Front wing, the back stabilizer is a little smaller than what I usually ride. It's the speedy one, the 180 centimeter one. So we're gonna try this one today along with it. But what I'm really, really curious is, is the mast. We compared all the different characteristics. But what I'm really wondering is, is, is a guy like me, donkey sailor like me, gonna be able to notice the difference all right guys we have a verdict we have a verdict first about the conditions out here today it was really one of the windier days i would say easy 22 knots uh, more on the ghost and i used the mast again i used it with uh, the 11 25 high aspect that's kind of like a to go to wing for me i really like uh, that wing and I don't know what it was, so I'm not a specialist, I'm not a hydrologist, whatever you want to call it, but something was different about this mass, and, and it f everything felt like it was more tight, and I felt like in the beginning when I first stood on it, it was like, oh, I, I feel like I'm more connected to my front wing, which I usually... I don't know, it just doesn't feel that way, you know, like, and I'm sailing up and down and I'm thinking like, what is it? Like, what can I compare that with? And one thing that came up to me is like, for all of you that have ever driven a stick shift, you know how the clutch on some cars feels gooey and has a longer, a longer way until you have to push it further until you engage and some other cars have a super short clutch. And this is kind of how it felt, everything felt tighter like like i felt like if i was right there i, I could lift the pinky and my front foil already knew it that's kind of like how this whole thing felt much tighter and and also faster it felt like so connected to my foil like I usually don't do like like or just more you know I always feel connected to the foil the one way or the other and gosh but it was it felt really good again it was super windy out here 22 knots probably easy I was uh, using a 2.5 meter wing and I was just enough and as a little bonus we got also this MA 800 new wing and that was something that was for my daughter to use she's usually using the old version the 850 or she's using like the 1050 and thank you armstrong guys she got an ma 800 and just for shits and giggles i put it on myself and i never ever foiled such a small foil I've never ridden a foil this small but in these conditions I was like yeah, what the heck I'm gonna try it and oh my god am I hooked or what I felt like a race car driver out there I, I never ride a foil this small and in these conditions like you can really go out and try you don't have to worry about not getting up because the wind is strong enough over here you can ride anything <laughs> and hey I'm telling you guys, I don't know if the pictures here, they're doing you guys any justice, but I took the GoPro in my mouth and started riding up and down, just if I could gauge a little bit of that speed. And even one thing that I noticed that surprised me is with a foil this small, I was catching bumps and I was able to stay on the bumps and eat and pump it. Like to me, it's like, you know, old guy, you know, like I'm not a young and agile and I'm thinking like this gear is all way too small for me. I'm, I'm not going to make it with this but hey you sail into the bumps so fast and once you have that actual speed you keep up with the bumps actually it's easier than I thought so another great experience today I think it was one of the best sailings that I had in, in a long time or like ever I don't know it was definitely the fastest I have never gone this fast on a foil and then a wing like today that was just absolutely in Sane. So I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys got something out of this video. So yes, I think that performance mast is definitely an upgrade. Definitely give you the more direct, more stiffness, more direct control. And the small wing was just a little bit of an extra bonus today where I was just able to go into like full send mode. And how about this? We'll send it into the next video with you guys.